son of a buck. You forgot the turkey injection stuff from the store and you have Thanksgiving tomorrow and you can't put it in the turkey and you know that's a game changer for any turkey because it makes it oh so buttery tasty. So what are you gonna do? Don't worry, we've done this a few times, got everything we needed from the store, got home and went, oh crap, I forgot that. So what we did, we just made it ourselves. So as long as you got some butter, brown sugar, and a few other key ingredients, don't worry, your Thanksgiving or Christmas will be saved. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe so I can see you on the next video. And most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, so here we go. Now you just need some kind of jar that you can melt your butter in. We're gonna start off with one stick, but you're eventually gonna end up needing two. So what we do, take this over to your microwave and pop in for about a minute until it's nice and melted down so you can start mixing in your other ingredients. As you can see, it's really pretty simple at this point. Now you go ahead and just add your onion powder in, which is about one tablespoon worth. And then I realized when we were doing this, you know what? One stick of butter is not exactly going to be enough. So we're going to grab one more stick of butter, pop in there and go ahead and melt. And as you can see in the back, we got our turkey already set up, ready to go. Pop this bad boy right back in the microwave and I'd give it about a minute. All you're really looking for is for it to be nice and melted. Now we're going to go ahead and use our kosher salt about three pinches worth of it. Um, I did use unsalted butter and I'll be honest with you, I just what we had in the fridge. So that's why I used that. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and do about another tablespoon of fresh ground black pepper. Just go ahead and put that nice in there. And then here's the secret ingredient. You want about three table uh, teaspoons full of brown sugar. Go ahead and put that in. And once you get it in there, go ahead and give it a good stir so it's all nice and mixed up. That way you can put it in your syringe when it's time to start poking your turkey. So now there's not much to this. Just go ahead and fill up your syringe. I suggest using all of it um, that you possibly can because honestly, what are you gonna do with it when in, you're done with this? There's not gonna be any real reason to have any leftover. So now you just wanna make sure to hit every single part of the turkey that you possibly can. Uh, this year, I actually took the spine out of it so it's kind of flat and I can get it everywhere. Now, here, bonus video time. If you want your turkey to look like that, we've gone ahead and done the inside of the turkey, but if you want that nice rub on the outside, I like to use Dijon mustard as my binder, and then I go ahead and put this all over the entire turkey, make sure to rub every single crook and cranny that I possibly can, make sure you get both sides and just anywhere that there's skin, just make sure you rub the heck out of it. I actually don't show this in the video, but I do separate the skin from the chicken and I do the inside of it as well. And like you can see, you just wanna make sure you get every single part of the turkey. And now you're gonna go ahead and put your Old Bay seasoning and pretty much do the same thing. I love this stuff. It's great on any kind of birds, honestly. It works on everything. We do it on chicken a lot on the grill. It's great. So same concept, just make sure you hit every word that you hit on that binder. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have a great turkey. Hope you guys are doing great out there. If you're doing this for Thanksgiving, uh, wish you guys the best of luck. And uh, yeah, subscribe more. Have a good one. Later guys.